yours. This is some of Jane's beautiful work. The balloons are to go out. Unfortunately, we have rain. <laughs> There's rain at the moment. Morning, everyone. Welcome to this week's video. <laughs> the balloons are back. The pop-up. I've sold a few paintings. I've sold a few cards and I've met some really lovely people. The highlight, I think the biggest highlight for me was on Saturday morning, a lady came in and she's a subscriber and her name is Carolyn. It was just the biggest thrill to actually meet one of you guys. Wonderful, it was just lovely. It just absolutely made my day. <laughs> I'm very good at talking myself out of things. If you just say yes, when you have a focus, it's amazing what you can push yourself to do. You find out, you learn a little bit more about yourself. The more you do, in my experience, as a scaredy cat, the more you just push yourself a little bit, you discover a little bit more about yourself and what you can actually achieve and what you can actually do. That is a tremendous thing. Morning. Having seen the wall empty, in our dining room, we were wondering about what would be a fantastic replacement and came up with this landscape, <laughs> landscape, elongated rectangular shape. We are going to order some canvas. Craig is going to order stretch bars and we're going to make a canvas to go in this space. I've cut down two sheets of paper and taped them together. I'll take this up into the cabin, fix it to the wall, and I might begin with charcoal work. At this point, I have no idea what it is I want to see on here. So I'll just begin in the usual way with some intuitive mark making and see where we go from there. blue tack isn't working so what I'll do I've got oh I've got some pretty weighty boards here using these came from a little Caran d'Ache set they're really quite hard
a windy day today and um, I love a cu I love a curve <laughs> and I love the sense of things rolling. I can see it the tumbleweed wave. Well I've made a beginning. It's always so good working big or small but it's always so good to get started. You feel really good to get started. I've never used this before. It's called Van Dyke Brown. And it's really weird, isn't it? Um, I associate brown with the 70s and, um, and it really fell out of favour and I'm really having a bit of a thing with it again at the moment. Um, not that I was painting in the 70s, but uh, so here we go then with some Van Dyke Brown. I want to try and be a little bit awkward. This spongy thing is awkward, just to see what marks come. I do like repetitive mark making. I like going I like going directly onto paper canvas board with the tube of paint. Um, anything that feels really direct, I enjoy. I want to keep going, but I think I'll let it dry. I want to, I want to walk away from it and I want to come back and see it with fresh eyes tomorrow. I feel very on top of it and I really do want to be away from it. It's good fun. Hi everyone. I've had a delivery today. <laughs> I can think what I'd order that's this size. I don't know if you can see the baby picture of the heater. <laughs> you plug in, we will see. I'm going to give it a try this morning. I couldn't understand why there was an offer to buy more than one. Maybe you need about six. We'll see. I'm not going to, um, I won't judge, pass judgment until I've tried it. So I've got instructions, there's a remote control and um, I can let you know how that works. I've held on to this little painting and um, I forgot to drop in the clip of finishing. In the last video I mentioned glazing using gloss medium to fix this shape. The more I look at this shape the more it puts me in mind of an anchor and I know exactly now the anchor it puts me in mind of. That trip we had to Hastings it just takes me to that day where I want to try and get a sense of moving water. I've been tapping the acrylic inks around because they run so nicely. And these golden fluid acrylics can have a degree of run. I can put something into drag paint. calling it Hastings. I also last night I photographed the long paperwork and um, stuck it in and started just for trying to have a little think about it what colours might work and I'm tempted to go for a periwinkle and a bit of a washed out peach. I'll have a play and we'll see. Do I have periwinkle? No, probably not. Things that might work in contrast to these strong shapes, perhaps um, a delicate line might, might work. I wondered also about putting in florals. Um, Again, I'm just going to go directly 
directly on. Grab a brush. No, actually, I'm going to go with a tool. This is just a little palette type thing. That's quite, that's quite effective. This is pale violet. So the difference here, I'm being a bit more intentional, but even though I'm being intentional, I still want chance. I still want chance marks that, that give me something different just from going in with a brush and doing it, trying to be, um, yeah, trying to replicate something. Uh, you know what I mean. There's no expectation at this point. I'm just enjoying playing different tools. So I will, I will employ as many different marks as I can. And when I achieve something that I really like, that is when I need to make, that's me making then a mental note. Repeat that, that worked, try that again. I've my eye, oh, my eye has just been drawn. Um, if you follow, you'll know that I did some, I think this was from a bit of outside drawing. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I need to let it dry. I'm gonna bring you in just to show you up close. I love that that bit that's I love that I like that Wait, that's my favorite spot so I need to try and repeat that uh, as I go along it's very very um, relaxing this stage of painting there's no expectation last little bit I thought to finish while I had an idea while waiting for the canvas to arrive and the stretcher bars, etc., I have got a couple of these. So while I'm in the flow of that, I'm going to, what do we think? It's, it's about half size. Another, if the other one, which I'm searching around and I can't see it up here. There's every chance it's under the stairs. I'll get gessoed up and I'll take some of those elements that I've already experienced and enjoyed. See what comes. Yeah. I can't get my words out this morning. I will do this <laughs> while I'm waiting for the canvas to arrive and the stretcher to be made, etc. Have a lovely, lovely week and I will see you next Thursday. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, have a lovely, lovely week. Bye for now.